are we doing? Hmm? You're probably confused. Where's the intro music? Where's the, the hypeness? Where's the exciting flock of the great that you know? He's not here at the moment. Because this podcast, we're diving into some stuff. This isn't the game time. This isn't story time. No, this is movie time. And we're not talking about fun movies like Godzilla, which we will one day. Or the new Kung Fu Panda. Or any other of that stuff. No. Our world is falling apart. Because of these specific movies that I'm about to tell you about. Why am I telling you that? Because it really does show us that we have crossed the line. Unless if you guys like these type of movies. Which I don't mind them sometimes. But there has to be a boundary. So I'm going to tell you guys these upcoming movies that are coming. But I just want to warn you. Be careful with what you watch. Because you don't know. But it can change you. Your mind, your heart, mentally, spiritually. So, enjoy the podcast. But be warned. Nah, I'm just kidding. Let's just hit that ninja music. Yeah, let's just get into it. I'm sorry about that, guys. People, welcome to Flacco's Fun World Podcast. Hey, the face cam is back on. The face cam is back on. Listen, people, sorry about my very special intro. You know, I have to make things sound cool, exciting, you know, even if it means you have to change your character. So, hey, before we get into today's uh, episode, which is a very interesting one, and I really think you guys might enjoy this one, um, let's talk about some important announcements. As always, we have announcements to go over for every intro for these podcasts. So we're going to start with my other podcast known as The Ultimate Issues Podcast with Dana Fountain. It's my devotional podcast so if you want to learn how to get closer with God or how God is the answer to all of our problems we face in life. Okay, and I am going to upload an episode as soon as possible for the Ultimate Issues podcast where we will talk about the one specific thing that many people have questions about, but I'm not going to spoil it here or else that, that wouldn't be fun, now would it? Make sure to also check out my channel called Flacco and Friends. I will be uploading very, very soon, guys. I'm going to get back into it. I know it's been a bit, but I'm getting back into it, people, okay? Well, we're getting back into the game, okay? Flacco and Friends is the main channel where we upload and just do all kinds of fun stuff together, and I think you guys are going to like it. Also, make sure you check out our church link at hbreno.church. That's hbreno.church if you guys want to know more about our church, the community, what the point of higher vision church is, and about our dream team, and so much more. You guys can get connected there as well by just going to the link at hbreno.church. That is hbreno.church. All right, people, another quick announcement. Uh, you can also listen to this podcast on Apple Podcasts. If you guys have Apple Podcasts, make sure you just go spell Flacco's Fun World Podcast and you'll find it there. So, um, hey, if you guys not yet already, make sure you, um, and then I guys are trying to make sure I get the music ready to stop. Make sure you guys hit the follow button and that notification bell so you get notified of every new episode I make on this podcast. And also do the same thing for Ultimate Issues Podcast. And that five star review, you know, that, hey, that wouldn't hurt, right? So let's, uh, let's get into today's episode. I'm going to stop the music. All right, people, listen. In the intro, there was one thing, though, that I was not kidding about, and that is our world has gone to a crazy place, especially when it comes into the movie universe. Okay, we got all kinds of movies that are being made to this day. But, hey, good question, though. Are you guys movie people? 
I am most definitely a movie person. Okay, my dad and my mom, and sometimes my siblings, they will ask me about, hey, uh, what what is this movie about? Or uh, hey, do you know any uh, good movies that are coming out? I'm the guy who usually does all the research. For instance, we got Godzilla X King Kong: A New Empire in theaters now. I want to see it so bad. I know me, my dad, and a friend of mine in West are gonna go try to see it. And then we got Kung Fu Panda Four. Okay, I want to go see Kung Fu Panda Four. I want to see Jack Black play as Poe again. He's like probably one of my favorite funniest actors besides Jim Carrey. And we have so many other movies that are being premiered in theaters now. You can check them out if you want. But uh, there's also um, some uh, special movies in theaters. For instance, um, and it's kind of scary if you think about it too and sad, is we are heading down to the horror universe now. Like We got a whole lot of scary movies that are being played in theaters these days. And... You know, maybe you are a person that likes those scary movies. I don't mind watching scary movies sometimes. I like feeling the, uh, like the spookiness or like just the jump scares. I'm like, oh, you know, that, that feeling of being scared is good sometimes. But there's always a boundary for those stuff. There should be a boundary that we should not cross. However, to, the, to this day in our world, we have definitely crossed that line. And there are movies that I'm actually going to tell you guys. Some of them you can watch now, and a lot of them are going to be shown in theaters too. I'm telling you this in case if you guys want to see them for yourself. But there's also a kind of a little lesson behind it. Like, like these movies are being made. It, it really does prove that there is a, a, a devil in this world you know now i know this isn't in my devotional podcast we're just having fun so please enjoy this podcast and i'll just tell you guys exactly what these movies are going to be about but at the same time just understand like there has to be boundaries when it comes to this stuff and it doesn't always have to be scary movies either you know like there's action movies thriller movies romance movies musical movies there's all that kind of movies too you know but you just i'm just saying like if you ever do want to see this movie just be careful okay because remember those kind these kind of movies can affect you mentally spiritually even physically sometimes too you know so i'm just saying just be careful with what you watch and what you see but these movies are upcoming movies that are happening in theaters very very soon okay and i actually have the information on my phone so i can tell you guys what exactly these movies are about now the first movie we're going to go over is winnie the pooh D and h2 Okay, so this recently was just in theaters. It came out in theaters on March 26th of 2024. This is a sequel, obviously, to Winnie the Pooh being H number one, which came out in the year 2023. So it was interesting. And if you look at this poster, you know, like we, it looks a little bit more better than the first one. You know, we got Winnie the Pooh has like this uh, fire chainsaw. We got a fatter version of Piglet. He kind of reminds me of Professor Pig from uh, Batman Arkham Knights. We got Tigger here. Yes, they actually brought Tigger into the um, the Winnie the Pooh B and H movie. And we also got Owl here. He kind of looks more like um, a, a vulture, in my personal opinion. But he's really such a cool looking character. And then of course, uh, Bunny is well is actually a girl. She's not actually animal. I don't think so. I've never seen the movie yet, but she's in there. And then obviously Christopher Robin, which is the main character of the entire uh, movie series of Winnie the Pooh B and H one and two. So uh, I'm going to tell you guys, uh, I'm not going to do spoil the whole thing because, you know, in case you guys have not seen it in theaters, you want to go see it out. I'm just going to read you guys what it's more about, and I'll tell you all what I actually think about it. Okay, so here it says, Christopher Robin flees from the 100 Acre Woods after surviving Winnie the Pooh's and Piglet's killing spree. He returns to his childhood town of Ashtown to seek for help. The corpse of Maria and her friends are recovered from the woods, but Christopher is believed to be responsible. The incident is dubbed as the 100 Acre Massacre, with a film adaption based on the murders being released, which damages Christopher's reputation in Ashtown. Now an outcast of town, Christopher has nightmares about Pooh and goes to his uh, hypnotherapist, Samantha, to deal with the childhood trauma when his twin brother Billy was kidnapped and never seen again. Meanwhile, in the 100 Acre Woods, Pooh, Piglet, and fellow creatures Tigger and Owl are forced to, his, to hide due to a few people who believe in Christopher's story. After they slaughter three universe students in a reincarnational vehicle, I will convince this Pooh to attack Ashton instead of simply waiting for more people to come to the woods. When some hunters ambush the creatures and fatally shoot Piglet, Pooh kills him in, a relation, in retaliation and considers Owl's proposal. All right, that's all I'm going to say. Now, I'm, I I know this is really quick, but I'm going to take a 30 second break because I'm going to say hi to Dad and Lily because they just got back. And I'll be right back to you guys.
and now it hits you and you go, I'll never have that money set aside <laughs> for my oil change or my phone bill one day or whatever. So so today, I don't I don't plan to do vials, but we can tomorrow if you're not working on it. I have a few You do? Oh good. So tomorrow morning, you and I can call Viola together if you like, and you can start we can make some connections. Today Ah, my apologies, everybody. I am back from that 30 second break. I was just also done with that, which recorded my room. So, anyways, let's get back into this. So, I just told you guys what the movie was kind of back. Okay, so, um, so I like I said, I've never seen this movie, and to be honest, I may not, but at the same time, I might give it a shot. I really don't, I really don't know. It's just but the first one wasn't even that good. It was such a big flop. I mean, while they did kind of do good when it comes to like reviews and all that, there was also a lot of mixed reviews about uh, what uh, Winnie the Pooh was about. And now we have the second one, you know, which for some it's doing a lot better than the first one I heard. But uh, there's also, you know, it's a low budget film, so it didn't do, you know, as good. You know, and to be honest, I'm not really surprised. You know, like we we we're just throwing in these movies, right? Like you know, like there was the mean one, which has to do with the Grinch, which didn't do that well, and like so many other horror films. Like I say, like there needs to be a boundary, but obviously we have crossed that line, and now we're just throwing in these movies, and it, it's it's dangerous to be honest. But you know, like I said, I don't mind watching scary movies, but I also know there's a boundaries. There's a, a boundary that we should not cross. So, anyways, let's get back into this. So, what I think, I mean, the po- the poster looks really, really cool, and uh, the movie, you know, has a lot of mixed reviews. Um, it's interesting to finally see like newer characters like Owl, um, Tigger, and uh, Rabbit or Bunny. That's what they call her. But it's like it's interesting to see uh, us adding new characters because I know they couldn't in the first one because they didn't have the rights to add uh, any more of the. Uh, hundred acre wood uh, animal characters until the second one came out and now it looks like they had more freedom to use more like with a tigger and owl and um bunny and you know like i said we got a new version of piglet i don't know what they did to him but they did something they also changed the look for uh winnie the pooh uh, i don't really remember why they changed the look for winnie the pooh maybe just to make it look more menacing but also make sure they don't really get copyrighted for trying to copy the looks uh for winnie the pooh you know for the the cartoon series and uh, probably the same here with owl you know this doesn't look like owl whatsoever in the cartoons but obviously you know do the copyright and tigger the same here you know tigger uh he um he, his claws kind of remind me of um nightmare on elm street on freddy krueger just just look at the claws you know what i'm saying but like tigger looks pretty cool but you can see like tigger's wearing like this full-on onesie suit i don't know <laughs> i'm really not sure what it is but i don't think he bounces on the tail not that i think of but you know Obviously, they have to change some of the looks for the characters. You know, they don't want to get copyrighted for this kind of stuff. But other than that, you know, it's like, I really don't know what I can say about the movie because I've never seen it. But, like, hey, this is in theater still to this day. So if you guys want to check it out, you can go watch for yourself. Like I said, I'm probably not going to. Uh, but I really don't know. Things can change. But it's um, this is one movie that's coming out. But this is the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because there's actually a lot more going on with the uh, the productions who made a Winnie the Pooh B&H 1 and 2 because apparently we are bringing now more monsters into the movie universe which is really which kind of scares me just a little bit because now we're just like I said we're just we're crossing that boundary again you know so uh, before we get into those uh, there has been an announcement from the director that uh, they are making a Winnie the Pooh B&H 3 which is uh, I didn't see that coming, you know, like you would think they would be done now, but it looks like they already had announcements for um, the third one. So this is what it says. It says Winnie the Pooh B&H 3, shortly known as Winnie the Pooh 3, is a 2025 threequel to the Winnie the Pooh B&H franchise. It's also the part of the Twisted Childhood universe. Winnie the Pooh B&H 3 was first, on, on, first announced on January 20th of 2024. Okay, so even before this... um. But even before B and H two came out, they already announced they were making the third Winnie the Pooh B and H. So I did look more into this and um, talk to my dad about this as well. Um, so Winnie the Pooh B and H three it has to do with um, actually uh, more uh, characters from the uh, Winnie the Pooh uh, universe. We have um, I heard Rabbit's going to be in there. I heard the Heffalumps. You know, you remember the Heffalumps? You know, like Heffalumps, Heffalumps over the hill, Heffalumps. You know that kind of stuff. Uh, this film is actually going to be located in London. And that's not the only thing, though. I also heard that Eeyore is going to come back into the um, um, 
Well, okay, so I say that because in Winnie the Pooh, um, B and H one, uh, Eeyore was actually eaten by Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. So, but I hear Eeyore is gonna come back and he's gonna have his vengeance on Pooh and his friends. So that's all we really know about the film. I believe Christopher Robin is going to return. I don't really know, but it's gonna be interesting. And it's also even interesting is that we are filming this in um, um. In London, you know, it was funny because Peter Pan was – the movie takes place in London. Now, I say that, but that's just a little quick teaser for you guys. But if you really think about it, it's going to be uh, made in London. So, like, is that a, a secret? And I tell you that because when we get more into this, you guys will understand. So we really do not have enough information about what this movie is going to be about. But it is going to come in the year 2025. So, you know, just get ready for that. But like I said, we are just – this is scary too because now we're just making more of these and, like – it's really hard to have good movies to actually have meaning into them and that stuff. For me, like movies, they have to have a meaning. Except for like if I just feel like I want to be entertained, you know, like I would watch like Star Wars, Spider-Man, Batman, and um, other kind of movies or like other scary movies too, right? But, uh, you know, like I said, there's a boundary that I follow. And like these kind of movies, they don't, they don't really have a meaning. There's no really purpose to them. We're just trying to entertain people. And that's, that's dangerous because it's what we're ent entertaining them with. You know, we, that's what we have to be really careful about. But yeah, you know, this is coming out next year, so here we go. So now we're actually getting away from Winnie the Pooh for just a bit because these other movies are actually connected to Winnie the Pooh being H1s, 2, and 3. And I tell you this, so um, in Winnie the Pooh being H2, I heard that there was actually um, a teaser to an upcoming uh, movie that is called... Um, Pinocchio Unstrung. Now, this is actually yet another scary movie, and uh, I really don't know too much information, but I was able to find just a little bit about what it's about. But this is how crazy our world is going. Now we're making Pinocchio. I mean, Pinocchio was scary enough. He's a, he's a talking puppet with no strings, so it's like you just had to make him more scary, right? So this is what it says for Pinocchio Unstrung. Pinocchio Shung is an upcoming horror movie by Jagged Edge Productions that takes the wooden puppet we know and love that turns into something much darker. The production company recently announced this movie and a few other interesting additions to the universe. Like I said, we don't have a lot of information. I do not believe we have a trailer because this was just announced uh, in B&H 2. I do believe they said that they teased it just a bit. So uh, basically, my thoughts, obviously, this isn't going to be the Pinocchio that we know, love. He's not probably, he's not going to be some good kid. Um... He's probably going to be just a more darker, evil version of Pinocchio, which I'm like, yet again, why are we turning more of our lovable cartoons into these, these, these monsters, you know? But like, hey, you know, that's what the productions here is trying to do. Uh, we don't really have a release date when it comes out, but it was announced when B&H2 came out. I do believe they said that it was teased in there. But uh, yeah, Pinocchio on Strong, uh, I will try to give you all more information as much as I can when we get more about it. But it, yet again, it also proves, like, this is crazy. Like, why are we going down this path? Why are we making more of these movies? You know, like, it's it's just too much. But it doesn't stop there, guys, because coming soon also from the Disney um, verse is Bambi the Reckoning. I know what you're thinking. Bambi? They're going to do it to Bambi, too? <laughs> yes, it's, it's so bad. It's getting so bad, guys. Now, Bambi... Is coming into the horror universe or the monster verse, as I guess you guys can say. So it's called Bambi the Reckoning. And uh, yet again, not a lot of information, but we do actually have um, um, a release date of when it does come out. So for some reason, the information is very small. It doesn't really um, give me too much, but it, does, it says, inspired by the animated movie Bambi, it will transport the innocent deer we know into a killing machine. That's basically all it says. So um, there has been announced for a, re a release date. It's somewhere in January of 2025. I do believe that's what it said. I could be uh, wrong, but apparently, you know, Bambi's not the um, it's not the lovable, cute deer that we know from the Bambi movie. Now, I never really liked the Bambi movie. You know, like I, I wasn't I wasn't really in love with it. But still, at the same time, like how how can they do this? Now we're having Bambi as some monster who hunts uh, hunts people, I guess. I don't know. But see, this is, are you, do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? Like, look where we are heading. Is this the world we want to live in? Absolutely not. 
whatever happened to making more movies that were at least have a meaning into it like i don't mind watching these i guess but at the same time they're they we're crossing the line and these aren't just the only movies that are coming out we have like a ton of other screen movies that are coming out that we're not going to be talking about in this video but it's so it's like really bad like why why are we doing this you know, I, I, you guys are probably going to make fun of me for saying this, but, like, why don't we have more Christian movies being made? I mean, actually, there are a couple of Christian movies that are coming into theaters soon. It's like, one from the Kendrick Brothers. Uh, I watched the Kendrick Brothers for a long time, ever since they made, like, the first movie. And I love what they do, and I'm pretty excited to see uh, what their new uh, movies coming out from the Kendrick Brothers. But, like, we need more of that kind of stuff, or at least, like, like, do we really need this? Like, do we actually need this? Like I said, I don't mind watching it. But at the same time, I also know like the there's a boundary that I cannot cross. I know I've been saying that a lot because I'm I'm serious about it. Like, do we need to cross that boundary? No. Is this is this godly? Absolutely not. But we call it entertainment, right? But at the same time, this entertainment it's not needed. But you know, because of the world that we live in and the the evil that lurks around this world, now we have this stuff and we call it entertainment, right? So. But Bam and the Reckoning, you know, uh, the trailer, I do believe, is out. If you want to check it out for you guys yourself, um, you can. And uh, by the way, these other movies that was announced, uh, I don't I don't believe Pinocchio has one or Pooh 3. But I do know the trailer for Bambi. I think they come out. So, um, all right, guys, we're going to take a, a quick break. And uh, we're going to finish this episode. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back. Now we have two more movies that we need to discuss. And yet again, this also just proves exactly why the world is heading down towards the wrong path. So um, this movie I know has actually been, been uh, I said been, been twice. It's been talked about recently a lot. And uh, I do believe that it's going to come very, very soon this year, 2023. So it's called Peter Pan Never and Neverland Nightmare. Now, I do not... Like, how can you do this? Like, why? <laughs> why? Like, why? What? I loved Peter Pan. I love Peter Pan. I love their movies. I, I love every single one. I mean, I know they just made like a live action Peter Pan. I think it's called Peter Wendy. I didn't really like it as much because they just made it cheesy. I, I, I don't know why they would make it cheesy, but you know, it's like it's Disney. So like whatever. But so now we got this. And I do believe this was discussed last year about this project. And I think it's going to come out this year, I do believe. So uh, let me tell you guys what it's about. So it says, Peter Pan's Never Ending Nightmares, an upcoming film that reimages characters created by J.M. Barry in the horror setting. Produced by Jag Edge Productions, again, it's part of the Twisted Childhood universe. The plot revolves around Wedding Darling as she's out to rescue her brother from the clutches of Peter Pan. Wait, Peter Pan's the villain? unfortunately yes and this is what we have so by the way i told you guys we have the twisted child universe that is why i know that is definitely the line being crossed these movies are just us are for the older people they're making this for they for children they're turning these children lovable cartoons into a, a nightmare i guess you can say like do you guys understand what i'm trying to say about why there should be a boundary and why it should not be crossed this is exactly what I'm talking about. Why are we heading down this path? Why? I'm so, I'm sorry, guys. It's just I'm passionate about this because now, it, like, I got Skylar who's going to grow up in this, and she's only seven. I don't want her to see any of this stuff. I don't want any young person to see this stuff. I don't understand why people call it entertainment sometimes. Like, I mean, sometimes I'm like, like, oh man, this movie was entertaining. It was good, you know. Like, but this. It's crazy what we're doing, you know? I know you're all probably making fun of me, and I know sometimes I talk to people about, like, scary movies sometimes. But at the same time, I know there needs to be a boundary for this kind of stuff. And now we're having Peter Pan, who apparently captures um, 
uh wendy wendy saturday yeah wendy's little brother i guess and apparently peter pan is is a bad guy he's he's the monster the 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 the, the, the I don't know what he is. I, I I haven't seen or looked into this as much, and w, it's crazy. But so yeah, we got that coming out. You know, I do believe it's coming out this year. I could be wrong. Uh, so for the final movie, this movie, guys, is probably the craziest thing I've ever seen. Okay, so we are having all the characters that I just mentioned into one movie in 2025, and it is called the Pooniverse Monsters Assemble. Just what is this? Look. Did, did we are going to have the there's Bambi by the way, and Winnie the Pooh is riding Bambi, and then there's Pinocchio, he has the one with the very long nose. We have the uh, the Mad Hatter, we have Tigger, and there's some characters I don't recognize. So I do know that's Pig, Piglet. Uh Owl and it, that looks like Humpty Dumpty. I could be wrong, but I don't know who that big guy uh, is right there with the hat and his face is kind of looks like two face just a bit, but we are literally having this. It's literally just Avengers Endgame or Avengers Assemble, but it's called Pooniverse. I showed this to my dad and he was like, "Dude, this is stupid." And to be honest. It but this is probably going to be the be the biggest product, uh, biggest uh, project that uh, the productions who made these movies have ever done. So we're combining pretty much almost every Disney character that we know. And in fact, I actually do have a list of who are going to be um, in this film. So we're going to have. It says the film will see a team up between familiar heroes such as Winnie the Pooh, Bambi, Tinkerbell. Pinocchio, Peter Pan, Tigger, Piglet, the Mad Hatter, and Sleeping Beauty. So all these characters I just mentioned will be in the Pooniverse Monsters Assemble movie, and it's going to come out in the year 2025. But guys, yet again, this is what we're talking about. This is exactly what I'm so worried about. What's going to stop them from doing just much more worse than this? I mean, look, we're not... We have, we are having all these cartoon characters, and we're gonna make them into a living nightmare for children. Is this entertainment? Now, to be honest, I kind of do want to see. It. I'm not gonna lie; I'm not perfect. Some of these I do want to see. Some of them I don't. But it's just like, see, this is the line. This is the boundary yet again that is being crossed. We are willing to do this. What else are we willing to do? You know, and it's like. All these movies, which lead to this movie, it's like this is exactly what I keep saying to you guys. We have to be careful because if we let this become our entertainment and for our whole life, that's dangerous. It could change you mentally and spiritually, you know? And I know you guys say it's just a movie. Sure, but look at what movies have done to people. Movies have literally, like movies like this, have literally influenced people in the wrong way. That's why... Um, I think this is a, a scary because like it's only going to – I know just due to the fact in the world we live in, things are not going to get any better. And it's just – and we let kids watch this because and we call it entertainment. And it's not. It's not good entertainment. I mean I don't like, – like I said, I don't mind watching scary movies sometimes. I don't. But I – like I said, I'm going to say it again. You're probably going to get annoyed for me saying this. There is a boundary. And we are literally crossing that boundary. We need to we need to stop. And we don't need these all in our life. I mean, sure, entertainment's not wrong, but it's how we're being entertained that really matters. Are we really gonna let these entertain us? You know, I feel like this should be on my devotional podcast too. I'm just saying, it's just like this is what we need to be careful of, people. Like we cannot let this influence our whole lives because it could literally damage you. Like I said, I don't mind watching these kind of movies, but at the same time, I know, I know the danger of these. And I talked to my dad about these. I told him about these movies, and I told him like this is exactly where our world's going to. And he says, "Sadly, it and yes, and it's only going to get worse." And I do believe that. I know I'm a teenager. Sometimes I don't, 
like we had disagreements about some things, but I honestly can agree with this one because I understand the danger of these, especially for like young children whose minds are still developing. And I don't want their minds to develop into these horror genres with like Winnie the Pooh and Bambi, Pinocchio, and then, you know, like all that kind of stuff, you know, so it's, it is crazy we are heading to this path. But hey, if you guys want to see these movies, go ahead. I'm not saying you can't. But I'm just saying be careful because there's a boundary. I might see some of them. I might not. I don't know. All I'm saying is just we just got to be careful because these movies, it's, I'm sorry, guys. it's just crazy. Like this is where we're heading in life. This is exactly where we are heading in life. But anyways, guys, I just thought you guys would want to know about these upcoming movies and like how crazy our world is heading in. And this is movie time. So uh, I will be doing movie reviews. Uh, This is a segment that I will be starting. Um, Once I go see Godzilla, I'll do a movie review about it. Uh, Or I'll do a movie review about Kung Fu Panda 4. Game reviews. I don't care. I'll do whatever. But um, I'll probably do reviews for like uh, these movies and tell you guys like uh, my personal perspective of what I think of them. But anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's episode um i really hope that you guys can understand from my point of view what i think about these and um like i said if you guys want to go see these for yourself go ahead i i I, you guys can go see them okay it's your choice i'm just saying be careful there's a boundary i hope you guys like this uh, video and this brand new segment on focus from world podcast make sure you hit that follow button if you're not yet already hit that notification bell so you can get notified of every new episode that comes out on this podcast check out my devotional podcast called uh, the Ultimate Issues Podcast with Dana Fountain. If you want to learn how to get closer with Christ, check out the channel called Flock One Friends. You can also listen to this podcast on Apple Podcasts as well. So may God bless, guys, and I hope to see you more for Flocko's Fun World Podcast.